you know, I'm, we're disappointed, and um, you know, we know how good they are, and we know we're a good team too. We talked a lot about winning the possession game because um, Stanford is so efficient. Um, they shoot high percentages. They have a, a, I mean, we think we're deep. They've just got player after player that they can bring in, and um, we wanted to be decisive. We actually we out rebounded by one, and we had one fewer turnover, but that wasn't enough because um, we felt like we were we were going to be a little bit behind maybe on the, per the percentage game and you know the the way that we rebounded wasn't enough you know we didn't defend well enough down the stretch and and we had a couple of silly mistakes and uh, you go into overtime who's the third best team in the country and you can't have those kind of errors and it, it's hard so I'm, I'm happy about a lot of things we did I'm proud of our team it's not an easy place to play they're not an easy team to play um, and you know, still, still, I know that our locker room is pretty disappointed. There's no sense of, well, we did pretty good, because um, that's not exactly how we we do it. And we're competitive, and we we want to win them all. Yeah, so they're very highly regarded out of high school. Um, they were great players in Texas, and um, they're fun and exciting. And uh, we were unsure a little bit of which one of them was going to step into the point guard position because they both play played both. And I think they can both do that, but um, that's the word that we've used, especially for Kaylee, um, is fearless. She, she doesn't, you know, freshmen are like that. I think two words that are synonymous with freshmen are fearless and sometimes inconsistent, right? Um, and, and today she played well, um, but they, you know, they, they're trying to get the ball to the right people. I think they're used to being able to score. Um, and, you know, the, the length that Stanford has bothered us a little bit today and I think um, kind of took them out of their game a little bit. I know she still ended up with a few baskets, but um, they play hard. They play confident. Um, I think their teammates make them feel confident. Um, players like Jill around them, Jen, Katie, Jesse, they, Leanne, they have veterans <coughs> surrounding them so that they don't have to feel like, the weight is on their shoulders, and um, I think all of our players play it with a little bit of extra confidence, knowing who's to their right and their left. So can you talk about that uh, Kaylee Hart design uh, on the bench for the Cougars? <laughs> I don't know if it was really designed. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's what uh, was it? Was it no? <laughs> oh, it was flat. what? What was it? It, it was flat. flat. Yeah. Um, it was designed. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. It was just stepping up with a lot of confidence um, and being able to hit that shot. You know, we, we were playing with them the entire game, and we knew we had a chance. And so I think the whole team was playing with a lot of confidence. Um, they're a great team, and we knew we were a great team, and that it was going to be a battle. And it was. It was a slugfest, um, definitely. But it was just everyone stepping up with confidence and hitting big shots at the right moments was really a game changer and got us into the position that we were. That's why we love this uh, matchup. Uh, Stanford is, there's not, a, we have a hard time scheduling. There's not a lot of teams that will play us in a home and home. Nobody wants to come to Spokane. Nobody wants us to come to their place. And so we have so much respect for Tara and their program because this is the, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. And um, I think it's an opportunity to test yourself early for both of our teams. And um, there's been very few games that have been blowouts. You know, we, we battle back and forth. I think both of us um, expect that we'll have gritty, feisty players who are going to, fight till the end um, and <coughs> when you can rely on a game like this um, which is tournament like it's um, turn er, conference tournament like it's conference like it's NCAA tournament like um, to give yourself a little bit of a test and see where you are and then you know reevaluate it a little bit later and see again uh, where we are um, I just think that it's it's a very valuable um, and and we're just thankful for the opportunity every year to play a team like this so how do you explain the defense you guys came out with and you led the first quarter, you led the second quarter, and it took a shot by Tiana in the third quarter to finally get them over the hump. And they were shooting abysmal from three-point range. So was that a concerted effort? Well, we we got lucky on a few of them. Um, they, they had some shooters miss. But then also we followed the game plan. I think that our staff put together a really good game plan on how to defend them. Um, their actions are so difficult. They've, they've got such smart kids who make great reads. They're well-versed in what to do when they when the defense does this and what to do when the defense does that. And um, I thought we, we ball pressure um, was um, very heavy so that the, the 
player with the ball couldn't just pick us apart necessarily, and our players did what they were supposed to do on the weak side. I mean, we don't we don't have the best. We have some really good individual defenders, but um, I wouldn't say we're loaded with those. But we just play good team defense and do your job whenever you're supposed to do. Well, that was an exciting game, and I thought our team really battled, especially in the, the second half in overtime. Um, you know, Gonzag is an excellent team. Uh, Lisa does a fantastic job with her team, and they, uh, they, they were extremely aggressive and physical. Uh, we had to uh, battle through some uh, bad turnovers in the beginning, uh, you know, missing some shots that I think people ordinarily make, but um, I'm, I'm really proud of how our team stuck with it, and um, made, made plays down the stretch. Uh, Lexi made some big shots, big free throws, played great defense for us, worked really hard. Uh, Key stayed in there and battled too, um, playing uh, like, you know, basically 43 minutes, only came out for a little bit. Um, but we, we can learn a lot from this game and uh, we can get better. And Coach, key moment was uh, when Key hit the uh, three pointer to put you guys finally over the hump uh, back in front in the third period. Mm -hmm. How big was that, and then how big was she down the stretch? Well, you know, I think um, we, I think we, we really struggled from three, and uh, you know that, that was a big shot that she hit. Um, and you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna win big games going five for twenty two from three. We we need to take better shots, move the ball better. But that was a big shot that she hit, and uh, made her. You know, she's a gamer and made big plays down the stretch. Another scenario is sorry. Another scenario is uh, Dijanae scoreless, but she came in, got some really big rebounds, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately had the, the free throw misses. But right. know, despite the bad uh, performance um, offensively, she came through and just really helped out. So she did. So I mean, she's a captain and a leader, and you know it's hard when things aren't going your way to stay with things. And you know I'm proud of Dee for doing that. Absolutely agree, and um, I just think it was a, a huge learning lesson uh, for us, uh, especially for our freshmen. Um, you know, our first few games we were blowing teams out, and it was like a walk in the park. And this is a really well coached <coughs> Gonzaga team, and you know, we were telling them, uh, you know, we're gonna have to lock it in just based on playing them last year. And I'm just glad uh, how they played, and even um, you know, Lexi uh, played being an underclassman. Lacey played well, but our freshmen really stepped up. You know, we rode Ashton in the first half. Haley made some big plays, and uh, Fran made some big plays. So, in uh, Hannah too. So, um, I think it's just for our freshmen to, you know, getting this type of game where you know every possession matters um, was huge. <coughs> Uh, well, I think that that's the best way you can grow is just to 
be in, in a game like that and understand the importance of, um, you know, each possession. Um, you know, we didn't have Lexi in the game last year up there, and uh, I thought, you know, Lexi got, gave it her all. She was working really hard out there, hit some big shots, made some great defensive plays, scrappy. Um, they were very aggressive, and I thought our team at first maybe, um, you know, we we weren't as aggressive. We were, we were coming down, you know, taking quick, long threes, and we, we needed to uh, be, be more physical and go inside more. something that we know is that sometimes our offense won't be as well as it has been in the past and so by focusing on our defense and um, just sticking together keeping positive energy even though people miss I mean it's going to happen so just staying together throughout the entire game all right coach I don't want to cause any controversy with that game but there was a play where uh, you guys had a breakaway and they fouled uh, the person trying to throw the ball so was there any thought of saying hey wasn't that it, we don't have that rule. Oh, okay. We don't, we don't have the, okay. the, the. Yeah, we don't have that rule. Okay. Right. Um, that's probably you know that maybe that's something we should have, but. All right. We're excited about Buffalo. We'll see you next week.